What's up guys, Ruxin34 back with another epic video. We're going to be opening up a lot of Legend of Blue Eyes, not just 89 reprint packs. We'll also be opening 8 Portuguese packs and 3 first edition Legend of Blue Eyes packs. These are not like heavy or anything, which by the way, I mean you guys saw my video, it doesn't really mean anything for glossy packs. But these are supposedly on weight, so we will see. We have 100 total Legend of Blue Eyes packs. It's going to be crazy. And the giveaway for this video. I'll be giving away these cards. There is seven, eight, how many are there? Seven, yes, yeah, seven cards. Mystical Elf, Swords Revealing Light, Polymerization, Regeki, Malefic Blue Eyes, Dark Magician of Chaos, and Blackluster Soldier. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, and let me know what you want to see from Legend of Blue Eyes. This is our 40,000 subscriber special, so thank you guys for patiently waiting for it. It should be pretty awesome. And now, a word from our sponsor. Before we start today's video, I want to thank our sponsors, Raid Shadow Legends. Raid is a turn-based RPG that is free to play. Raid has been around for years and is constantly updating to keep their game fresh and fun to play. You can collect powerful champions, then test their strength in battle against epic foes in the story-driven campaign or in the PvP battle arena against players like yourself. Who doesn't love battling? Real players with your carefully crafted army. Use my link to download Raid on your mobile phone or PC. Come celebrate Christmas with Sir Nicholas, Rhine Beast, and Frostbringer. I know I will. My favorite thing about Raid is the collectability aspect, like Yu-Gi-Oh! Collecting heroes and building a strong army to battle others in PvP makes for an ever-changing game state. You can also level these heroes up quickly by grinding the campaign. Raid also has a massive player base, so meeting new players provides a fun experience as well. And just this month, Raid just released their biggest update ever. The main event here is the Doom Tower. It's a giant tower with 120 floors, a bunch of secret challenge rooms, and 12 seriously awesome bosses to take on. On top of that, they're also releasing 14 awesome new champions just in time for the holidays, along with a whole host of holiday events and tournaments. There's really never been a better time to start playing, and here's the best part. The raid team are giving away a bunch of new goodies, plus a super special champion to help get everyone started in the tower, Bulwark. He's absolutely awesome in clan boss, and he's also going to be a huge help in the tower against those bosses. If you want to get a huge head start in raid, all you have to do is hit the link in the description, and if you're a new player, you'll get your free Void Champion Bulwark, 50 gems, and an XP boost, some energy refills, and even an Ancient Shard as soon as you get in-game. All this treasure will be waiting for you here. You can find me in-game under the name Ruxin34, and if you're quick enough, you can even join my clan. And it's that easy, just click the link in the description, and I'll see you in-game. Alright, let's get into this. This is going to be absolutely crazy, so we're going to finish off with the first edition packs. So we are going to start off with the reprints. We'll sprinkle in the, the eight Portuguese. The reason I have eight Portuguese is I could not get the last eight reprints in time. I've been collecting these reprint packs for months. It takes forever because most people online want like 20 plus dollars per. It's just not worth it for me to pay that. So eventually I found some at stores. People hooked me up, helped me out on Instagram. That was awesome. Flower Wolf. So thank everyone who did that that helped me get all these packs. So we got 89 reprints. We got close to 100. We got three first edition packs, which hopefully have something crazy in them. So this could be a pretty crazy video if we pull something big. So let's go for the blue eyes here. In the reprints and the first edition. Flame Swordsman, a good start. We have a super rare Flame Swordsman. That is a very good start to this opening. I will take that as the second pack. That is pretty good. Woo, okay. Here we go. I think you guys will be seeing this a little bit after when I posted it. Because we had to wait on a few things. And it's going to be a little late for 40000 I know. So sorry about that, guys. Missouri Zame. Pot of Greed. Basic Insect. Pretty cool. Alright, here we go. So far we've pulled a Flame Swordsman. Can we pull some big Ultra Rares? We have had some crazy pulls out of these reprints sometimes. We have pulled... Have we ever pulled a reprint, Blue Eyes? I don't think we have. We've pulled Portuguese. We've pulled... Um... What am I trying to say here? We've pulled Portuguese, we've pulled 2002, we've pulled 2003. I don't think we've pulled a reprint though. So this could be pretty cool to pull that for the first time. Hopefully out of 100 or 89 packs, we have a good chance. Let's see if we can do it. Missouri Zame. Oh! Oh my goodness! This is crazy! How does this keep happening? How does this keep happening? I keep calling it Blue Eyes White Dragon. This is a good sign. Come on, come on, first edition. You see this? That's what I want to be in there. <laughs> Blue Eyes White Dragon. What a good start. The centering is not great on it, but that is okay. This is a fantastic start to this opening. We already have a Blue Eyes. 
Whoa, I was just saying, we hadn't pulled one. Let's do it. And then boom. Whew, this is just crazy. It's crazy. <laughs> like, the, the I, I don't know. I don't know what the deal is. Start talking about a card and it just appears. Silver bow and arrow. Terra. Tyhoon. Hey, Nan. Yeah, I'm going to do it like the slide way. I'm probably not going to do it this way because that honestly gets really tiring after like, you know, 20 packs. And this is 100. So I'm probably going to do it the little bit quicker way. Umi. Irabi. Forest. And Carbonala Warrior. All right. So we have one Ultra and one Super. I'm going to guess out of 100 packs... How many foils are we going to pull? Let me know in the comments how many you think we're going to pull. You can separate it out by like supers, ultras, and secrets if you want to get, you know, fun and creative. I'm going to go with, mm, let's say, Hinatama. I'm going to go with we pull two secret rares. No, I'm going to go with more than that because the reprints seem to have a lot of secrets sometimes. I'm going to go with like four secret rares. I'm going to go with, ooh, out of 89 packs, well, 100, I'm going to include all the packs. Trial of Nightmare. Follow Wind and Fissure. I'm going to go with like five Ultra Rares. So four Secrets, five Ultra Rares. And then I'm going to go with 12 Supers for 21 Foils. That's my guess for 100 packs. Let me know what you guys think. It's a little bit low, I think. But uh, we'll see. But I think the average would be like 25%. So we'd get 25. But I think we're going to go a little low. Skull Servant, Giant Soldier of Stone. Well, we already got Blue Eyes. So that counts as multiple. So I'm pretty happy about that. Here we go. Next pack. Can we get multiple blue eyes? Can we do it? Can we get Exodia's head? That would be pretty cool. Book of Secret Arts. Dark Fire Dragon. Actually worth a little bit. So nice to set aside. And hard armor. Alright, let's change up the piles. Let's go over here. See what happens in this one. Maybe we'll sprinkle in some first editions and not leave them all for the very end. Just to, you know, keep it exciting. Ooh, Swords of Revealing Light. We're giving that one away today. So naturally, we would pull it. Raise Body Heat. That is a short print in first edition and the original, but not in the reprints. Okay, these top pack. I'm going to be doing this, moving it around, you know, see what's going on. Here we go. So Silver Bow and Arrow, Terra, Tyone. Oh! oh! <laughs> Blue eyes again! 40k! 40k! This is crazy! We pulled four foils. Oh my gosh, four foils, two blue eyes, two super rares. So I said five ultras, we've already got two, and two of them are blue eyes. Like, can we dare ask for a play set? Like, can one of them be first edition? Please, can one of them be first edition? Yeah, we're, we're going to see. Oh my goodness, that is absolutely wild. That is so wild. Okay, so we had never pulled a reprint, but when 40k comes to Colin... Okay, so that's weird, because we pulled a blue eyes at 30k at the... 2002 10 opening at 25k at the 2003 10 opening and now with the 40k so blue eyes shows up for special videos which is pretty good dark fire dragon again which is nice wow we pulled two blue eyes and if we could do anything crazy it would be pull first edition yeah i can't even imagine that happening like, I can talk about it, it's actually possible, but it just doesn't seem like it's going to happen. Okay, alright, I'm losing it already. This is just nuts. This is going to be a crazy opening. Hopefully we pull a Dark Magician, Red Eyes, is that what we want? Let's see, what's one? I, I really want Exodia Head. I mean, we've pulled it before. We've pulled everything before, but... have we? I don't know if we've pulled a reprint, though. So it would be cool to pull a reprint. Let's see if we can do it. Larvis. Ooh, Trihorn Dragon. There's our first secret rare. I called four. So, I don't know if it'll alternate between Gaia and Trihorn. Personally, I think Trihorn's a little cooler. Gaia is cool, but uh, Trihorn is pretty awesome. That centering is really bad. <laughs> At the top, check that bad boy out. All right. First secret rare. That's pretty awesome. Dissolve Rock. There's really not any commons to pull out in LOB. Unless you're opening first edition, then they're all worth a little bit. Or at least, actually, a pretty good amount if you get tens, but... Here we go. Petite Dragon. Dark Fire Dragon. That's our third one. Those are actually worth like $2. So that's pretty good. Especially since a lot of the cards that are not foils in here are not worth much at all. So pulling a $2 card is not bad. Skull Red Bird. Oh. Left leg of the Forbidden One. Exodia. Can we make the whole Exodia set? We failed on the Portuguese video. It's left leg. I just realized it. 
We pulled the left leg. This is the one we never pulled in Portuguese. It's very difficult to get um, in first edition. It's actually not at, it's not technically as difficult in like unlimited and stuff because really it's just talking about the pop report in first edition, but it just feels like it because we never pull it until now. I remember the first time I pulled a reprint Blue Eyes, which is the only other time before now. It wasn't on video. I pulled out of four packs Blue Eyes and the left leg, so that's kind of weird that we pulled both of those. I mean, we have 89 packs, so it kind of makes sense. The chances are pretty high, but pulling two Blue Eyes is pretty cool. It's pretty cool. All right, next pack. Here we go. Can we pull three? Right arm of the forbidden one. Okay, did I say five ultras? We're already at four, so I am definitely way wrong about that. That one's pretty centered, actually. That's pretty sick. Okay, we have two pieces of Exodia. That's our goal. We have already have blue eyes, so building Exodia. Maybe we'll get like four pieces of Exodia, and then we pull the head out of the first edition pack. How crazy would that be? That would be insane. I would love that. All right, we need to open a Portuguese pack, too. All right, machine conversion. Hey, hey. And Woody Phantom. All right, let's open a Portuguese pack real quick. Fortunately, these did save us, and they allow... Okay, I think I actually have 10 over here, so we don't actually need to open all these. We only need to open eight of them to make 100 exactly. Here we go. Larvis. Tem Radekeo or Temperatura. Yes, I know, guys. I still don't know how to speak Portuguese. I didn't learn. I didn't learn. Okay. So no foil. Maybe we will pull Portuguese blue eyes, too. Can you imagine that? I mean, I'm sure you can, because we did pull two once. Umi and Gravedigger Ghoul. Okay, by the way, I just want to say, 40,000 subs, whatever we're at now. I mean, whatever. It's all the same. I mean, okay, not all the same, but it's... The thanks is the same. I appreciate you guys. That is crazy. 40,000. That is nuts. 40,000. Like, I never thought we would be anywhere close to 40,000. Flame Swordsman again. Let's go. Final Flame. So yeah, this is pretty cool that we get to open up all these LOB packs. I always love doing it. And uh, especially when we're going to pull blue eyes. Let's do another Portuguese pack and let's see what we can pull. We're going to get these out of the way because they are the least favorite. I know the uh, the, the reprints are cooler. The first edition is cooler. The regular, I mean, English. Raigeki. Okay, that's pretty cool though. You can't say that's not cool. That looks really good because it looks it's the original like UDE printing. So it looks really cool. That's actually a nice pull. I love Raigeki. It's one of my favorite cards of all time. You guys haven't seen my original 2006 deck when I was in sixth grade. I, I had two of those, and it's just that's where my love for Raigeki comes from. You know, Tama. It was just so good back in the day. Pot of Greed. We'll take that. I was like, Papa Pot of Greed. Papa -pa Pot of Greed. All right. Another Portuguese. You got a, we got six of these left. Oh, that just ripped open really easily. I don't even know if that was sealed, to be honest. Maybe we'll have a crimp in here. Imaruka, Sogan, Impedir, a Defensa. Okay. All right, back to the reprints. They've treated us well. We've got four ultra rares. We've got a secret rare. My prediction may be way off, and I would gladly welcome it. Gravedigger Ghoul. Dissolve Rock and Sparks. Whew. All right. I'm itching to open a first edition pack. I think maybe we do that next. What do you guys think? We open one in, in, in a second. Oh, these are a little bent. Yep. Sogan, Cherubin, and Masaki. Eh, not too bad. Okay, here we go. First edition. Whew. Legend of Blue Eyes. We're going to do this in the middle, so if you're skipping, you might have missed it. And I'm just saying, you might want to come back here. All right, first edition. Let's start with the right one. Oh, I'm nervous. This could be something crazy. Whew. Here we go. First Ed LOB. Can we pull a foil? Even the commons are worth a lot. Rares would be like Pot of Greed would be great. You know, Thomas Soul. Our mail. We just want a foil. The 13th grave. You, Robbie. And a fissure. Just a rare in the first one. Okay, so we got a rare in that pack. Mystical Sheep number two. Skull Red Bird. Missouri Zame. And Yame. Oh, this card has a ding on it. Oh, no, it's damaged. The first edition rare. Ooh, that hurts a lot, actually. Oh, first edition rare. Right out of the pack has damage. That stinks, but that's okay. We got two more chances. Next pack reprint. We didn't have good luck with the first edition pack, but we do have two more. Two more chances. 
Please give us some luck. Larvis. All right. Skull Servant. And the right leg we've pulled now. Three of the pieces of Exodia. Oh my goodness. Right leg of the Forbidden One. Left leg of the Forbidden One. And the right arm. Let's see what we can do here. We have three pieces. We just need the Exodia head and the left arm. Can we do it? Wow. Five Ultras already? This is crazy. Here we go. Hinotama. Fire Yaru. Dark King of the Abyss. Hain Hain. Okay. Armail. One-Eyed Shield Dragon. Next pack of LOB Legend of Blue Eyes. Let's pull something crazy. We've already pulled two Blue Eyes. How about another Trihorn Dragon? That is beautiful. The centering is slightly better. It's still bigger on the top like the last one. Secret Rare. That's really cool. So now we have two Secrets. I predicted four. And we already have our five Ultras. So unless we pull no more Ultras the rest of the way, please don't happen. That would be brutal. Then I'm going to be way off. I would love to be way off. Here we go. Turtle Tiger. Drooling Lizard. King Fog. Carbon Olive Warrior. All right. And Flame Manipulator. All right. Flame Manipulator. Here we go. Here we go. Flame Manipulator. Yami. Dark World Thorns. Spirit of the Heart. 13th Grave. Mizura Zame. Yame. Oh, no Yame. Okay. Next pack. Here we go. 100 pack LOB opening. Hope you guys are enjoying this. 40,000 subs. Can't say thank you enough. It's going to be pretty awesome. We've got some epic stuff coming up that you guys have not seen yet. That's all I'm saying. There's some absolutely crazy stuff coming up. You guys are going to love it. Especially if you love LOB. That's all I'm saying. Okay, here we go. Missouri Zame, Yame, Ume, Yarabe, Two Trong. Okay, yep. All right, I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. I'm grounded from that. Next pack. LOB. Blue Eyes White Dragon. Here we go. Silver Fang. Petite Angel. We're on a cold streak right now. King Fog and Missouri Zame. Next pack. Let's try the left side. See what happens. He taught Sumi Giant. Turtle Tiger. Drooling Lizard. Okay. Okay. We're on a cold streak. But that's okay. We got really hot there for a second. We're pulling Ultras left and right. Pulling Secrets left and right. I mean, just everything was great. We have not pulled too many Supers, actually, which is pretty weird. Larvis. Monster Egg, Flower Wolf, Ray and Tempatura. Ray and Tempatura. All right, we've got three more Portuguese packs. We've got a lot more reprints. We've got two more first edition English. North American English, I should say. Okay, we just annihilated that. Sorry to make you cringe. Ooh, Reaper of the Cards. And Reliva Faga. Blue eyes, here we go. Trap hole, we got the trap hole. Spirit of the Harp, Skull Servant, nice card. Is Skull Servant worth anything unlimited? Because I know like people love that card. Trap hole, that's pretty cool. Yeah, somebody's asking, I think, about this part. That's just the sunlight coming coming down there. In the in the picture, obviously. That's not the real sunlight, you know. Here we go. Here we go, here we go. Can we hit something big? We haven't hit any of the big ones besides Blue Eyes. Curse of Dragon. We haven't hit uh, Exodia Head. We haven't hit Dark Magician. We haven't hit Red Eyes. So we've hit two Blue Eyes, which is the best one. Curse of Dragon. That's pretty cool. So we're not complaining, but uh, we're just wondering. Where's Dark Magician? Where's Red Eyes? You know, help us out here. Dissolve Rock. Mystical Sheet. And we're number one. Sogan. Flame Ghost. Missouri Zame. Yame. Yeah, I like when Yame is after. It's more fun. <laughs> It is more fun, for sure. Petite Angel. So we started off hot. We're a little, a little bit of a... Compared to before, when we were just pulling stuff left and right, this is seeming a little bit slow. That's all I can tell you. All right, come on. Yeah, these are much different to open, these Portuguese ones. They're, they're like... I don't know. It's, they don't rip very cleanly. Here we go. Ooh. Ooh, a Curse of Dragon. So we pulled Curse of Dragon English. Now we pull Curse of Dragon, Portuguese. That's pretty cool right there. All right. One more Portuguese pack, and then a bunch more reprints still. We're like probably halfway through right now. Hinotama, Fire Yaru, Dark King of the Abyss, Kumu Toko. And... All right. Let's open the final Portuguese pack, and then we'll be all English from here on out. The rest of our 100 pack Legend of Blue Eyes opening, which included first edition, a few Portuguese, English, just craziness. Here we go. Yami. Ooh, Guardio Celta. Celtic Guardian. 
That is pretty cool. Super rare. Very nice. I will take that. Okay. I'm really hoping we got a foil in one of these LOB packs because we have not had good luck with our loose LOBs. Umi, Yurabi, Spirit of the Heart, Chaining Mermaid, and Sparks. Yeah, and they were not cheap, by the way. They were not cheap. They weren't $1,500 this time because they weren't supposed to be heavy. They're just unweighed, but they were a lot. I will give you that. Raise Body Heat, Beast Fangs, and Trial of Nightmare. What do we, I mean, how many packs do we got left? We probably got like 50 still. Like I said 50 earlier, but I think we still have 50. Spikes Eater, Trial of Nightmare. Man Eater Bug, okay. We've got a nice Man Eater. The Man Eater Bug. The Supers are finally showing up. We were pulling all kinds of high rarity stuff. No super rares. It was wild. All right. It's time for something big. Forest. Okay, maybe not. Maybe not. Hard armor. Maybe after this. Maybe soon we can pull a Dark Magician. How about we do it out of first dead pack? I take that. Flame Swordsman, a play set of them. And Furious Seeking. That's crazy. We've pulled so many Flame Swordsmen. I mean, that's like one of the best super rares, so we'll take it. Even though an unlimited is not very expensive. Alright. Here we go. Sogan, Steel Grigrado, Legendary Sword, M Warrior number one, Carbonella Warrior, Tyhone, and Dark King of the Abyss. Yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy this longer special video. We have, like, I mean, it's probably going to be like 30, 40 minutes long. So it's definitely going to be a longer one. It's not going to be very short. I mean, hey, that's, that's what that means. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> it's going to be. Long, we're gonna open a bunch of blue eyes packs. You know, I thought it'd be fun to just ha open a ton of them, like, because this is always fun, even if they're reprints, it's fun. Here we go. Sogan, Gravedigger Ghoul. It is always fun to open these. And yes, we started off crazy hot, we've slowed down, and we're still doing incredible. Like, pulling two blue eyes is a win, no matter what we pull the rest of the way. Fire Yaru, which hasn't been too much. Pulling them Exodia limbs, we've done good with those. Let's see if we can pull something else crazy. And we're here, number two, Larvis. Dragon Treasure. Okay, all right. I think soon we should open the second first edition pack because I'm getting antsy. I really want to pull something crazy. Forest, Lesser Dragon, Mountain. We we're on a cold streak right now. Maybe that would break us out of the cold streak. All right, if we don't pull a foil in these next two packs, we're opening a first edition pack. That's all I'm saying. That is what I'm saying. The heart of the cards will choose for us. Yurabi. Nope. Okay. This next one doesn't have a foil. We're opening a first edition pack. That's going to be crazy. That's going to be nuts. Here we go. Wasteland. Armail. Dark Gray. Power of Kaishin. Okay. We got to do it. We got to open first edition. We'll keep the one in the middle for last. All right. LOB. Come on. Get, let's get a foil, please. Ultra would be crazy. Any Ultra... I will take it, especially if I don't have it in PSA 10. Then I would love it. I don't even care if it's a limb. If it's a limb, I will rejoice. Here we go. We have a Spike Seedra. Oh, no. It's dinged on the top. Okay, that's not. Mammoth Graveyard. That's good. Firegrass. Come on. Dark Gold Thorns. Okay, last chance. This should be it. Here we go. Final flame. No. Oh, trial of hell. Yes. Good, good common. We will take that. That's one. That's the best common you can get. So it is first edition. So, I mean, they're all like that, but still it's pretty valuable. And the final flame rare. At least this one's not damaged. The scenery is awful on it though. So probably not going to grade. This one could probably grade actually. It's pretty good. All right. On to the next reprint pack. We are 0 for 2 on the first edition packs. Come on. Give us a, give us something good. Silver Fang, Arm Ninja, Terror the Terrible, and Soul Servant. Oh, I really want to pull a foil on the first edition pack. Oh my gosh. That's going to be the last pack, though, so maybe we'll pull something good. Give out Dark Ruler, Drooling Lizard, Game Warrior, and Remove Trap. Come on, LOB. We need something good. We need, we need some luck. Let's lean in here. Let's get some luck. Let's go hard. Pull something crazy. Make sure you guys hit the like button for luck. If we're not at 2,000 likes by now. You should be crushing it for sure. Okay. Celtic Guardian. Wow. Celtic Guardian, number two. All right. Okay. Whew. Oh, man. I'm getting nervous for this last pack. If we go 0 for 3, it's going to feel bad. It's going to feel really bad. 
because we have not had good loose pack luck. Mountain, here we go. Skull Red Bird, Saki, Man Eater, Pot of Greed. Haven't pulled that in a while. And Kagamusha. <sighs> Come on, give us Red Eyes, Dark Magician, Exodia Head. That's what we're looking for here. You know, Tama, Red Medicine, Reaper of the Cards, the Reaper of the Cards. Panic! Oh, sorry. Sorry, uh, I forgot who I was. Oh, here we go. Celtic Guardian again. Darkfire Dragon, we'll take that. Celtic Guardian for the third or fourth time. So the centering on this is crazy bad. Check that out. That is like the worst reprint centering I've ever seen. That's actually pretty cool. Because it's super bad. All right. Lesser Dragon. Petite Dragon. Terror the Terrible. And the Fury is Seeking. All right, this Galera is killing me. All righty. Legend of Blue Eyes. Bless us with something good, Drooling Lizard. Left arm. Is this the one we need? Is this the one we need? Could we possibly have the most epic call of all time? Calling all the Exodias in reprint and then pulling the head first edition? Timeout, timeout, timeout. Timeout, timeout. We have left, right, right, left. Oh my goodness. We have the whole set minus the head. Woo! Okay. So we, we need it somewhere. We just need an Exodia head and we have the entire set pulled. Plus two blue eyes. That would be insane. Here we go. Ooh, okay. I thought that was it because it was getting stuck. All right. We've pulled, all, we've pulled no dupes on the pieces, which is crazy. I'm sure we will now that I said that, but that's pretty crazy. Dark Hole. Our first time pulling that one. No Raigeki in this video, which is kind of sad. We're giving it away, so maybe we will. Oh, wait, no, that's not true. We pulled the Portuguese one. All right. Yeah, got confused there. So we have pulled the Raigeki, so it's all good. M Warrior, Dissolve Rock, Dark Energy, Giant Soldier of Stone. Okay, that's back to back Giant Soldier of Stones. All right. All right, all right. All right, all right, all right. Come on, let's get something good here. Monster Egg, Flame Ghost, Dissolve Rock, and Sparks. We're getting down to our last 25 packs or so. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video so far. It's a nice long one, these fangs. And it has been pretty fun. The only thing I want for the rest of this video is it one an Exodia head. I don't care if it's unlimited or first edition and a first edition hollow. So that could double. That could both be in the same thing. We could get our Rish. Missouri Zame, Final Flame. Yeah, if we pull an Exodia head, that'd be crazy. All right. The Fury Sea King, Petite Angel, Kagamusha, Arm Ninja, and Missouri Zame. Come on, we need some luck here, guys. We need some blue eyes luck. Here we go. Can we pull something good? Exodia head, here we go. Nope. Not this time. Not today, Zerg. I just feel like we need to pull some. I feel like we need to just get geared up for this LOB first edition pack. I'm nervous about it. So far, we've had no luck. We did pull Trial of Hell, which was cool. Dark Gray. And these reprints have definitely slowed way down. I mean, we've done okay. We just started off like crazy. And then we like kind of slowed down to like regular ratio. But uh, the secret is, we only have two secrets. So I said four, and I was going to say two, and I blew it. Guy of the Fierce Knight. Okay, that's one we haven't pulled. That's pretty cool. Ultra Rare. Centered as well. That's nice. Nice Ultra Rare pull. So now we've pulled four pieces of Exodia, two Blue Eyes, and a Gaia. So that's seven. I said five. So I'm a little off there. If I transferred those Secret Rares to the uh, Ultra Rares and made it seven and two instead of five and four, maybe I'd have a chance. Hopefully we'll pull more, but you never know. All right, Skull Servant. Man Eater again. So that's our second Man Eater bug. Which Supers have we not pulled? Because we definitely not pulled some. We, well, we didn't pull a reprint right Yankee, but we did pull the Portuguese one. We didn't pull Polymerization? Or did we? No, we didn't pull it. We gave it away. So there's some that I'm missing. Missouri Zame. Dark Fire Dragon. Okay. Pulled quite a few of those. Hard Armor. This stack of comments is absolutely huge. It's about to touch my camera. And it's two stacks, so that's how, how much it is. Swords of Revealing Light! 
There we go. Super rare. Swords of Revealing Light. That's pretty cool. Very cool. Alright, we definitely pulled Flame Swords and we know that for sure, so... We're doing pretty good there. We didn't get any Ultras from the uh, Portuguese. For our Yaru. Dragon Capture. Ray and Temperatura. 12 packs left. 12 packs and a first edition pack. 13 packs. That's unlucky, so let's go ahead and open this one. 13th row. Let's just pretend like that didn't happen. Mystical Elf, okay. That's one we haven't pulled. That is a good sign to jinx our unluckiness. Okay. 12 more packs. Let's do this. Mystical Elf. It's a nice pull. We'll take that. Trial of the Nightmare. It's out to me. Giant. Hey, hey. Kumutoko and the Beaver Warrior. All right, our last few packs. Here we go. Let's see what we can do. Can we pull something crazy? Can we pull something crazy? All right, travel. Not too crazy, but it is a super rare, so we will take that. That is our second copy. I'm wondering if we, like, do we have dupes of, like, almost every super? I feel like there's one we haven't pulled. Oh, Polly already said that. But, uh, Flame, Curse of Dragon we've pulled, Mystical Elf, Saki, okay. Um, what else is there, guys? Flame Swordsman we've obviously pulled three times, Mystical Elf, um, Celtic Guardian, we've pulled that. Trap hole, we pulled that. Polly, there it is. Did you speak of the devil. We hadn't pulled a Polly, and now we have. Super rare. We may have every super now, which is pretty crazy. All right. Let's get another ultra before this ends. Come on. Gaia the Dragon Champion. One we had not pulled Darkfire Dragon again. That's amazing. A Gaia. This is really nice because... Now we have both secret rares. I guess four secrets. We have three. And that means both secrets. Probably all the supers unless I'm missing one. I feel like I'm missing one. And then we have like five of the ultras. So almost the entire set. Not quite. I mean half the ultras is not almost. But all right. Carbonala Warrior. Five more packs. And then we get into the first edition. We get one more chance at something huge. Here we go. In Warrior. Remove Trap. Okay, these feel different. These might be 2010. Final Flame. They're definitely, like, moving around different. <sighs> okay. Here we go. Umi. Mammoth Graveyard. Come on. Tyone. Okay. Dragon Treasure. That's cool. Three more packs. L-O-B. Give us something crazy. We didn't pull any of the big ones besides Blue Eyes, which is so odd. We did pull two Blue Eyes, so I can't complain about that, but... I mean, I'd still probably take two Blue Eyes. I definitely would, but it's still a little bit weird that we didn't pull any of the others. 13th Grave, Metabat, Polly, so he hadn't pulled it, now we pulled two. Two in like the last five to six packs, which is pretty crazy. Super rare, that is one of the best supers. If you remember, we pulled two Pollys out of our booster box when we opened it, which was pretty wild. Okay, Steel or Grigrotto, Firegrass, last pack of the reprints, Sandstone. Okay, nothing in there. Okay, so we have one final pack. We have a first edition booster pack. Ah, here it is. Here we go, guys. Please, can we get a foil? Even a super rare would be incredible. An ultra would obviously be just out of this world crazy. All right, let's set this over here. Let's not look. Last pack. Can we get the luck? Hit the like button, guys. Here we go. Turtle Tiger. Hard armor. Kumutoko. Forest, can we get something? Come on, here we go. Stop the fence. <laughs> what is our luck with these loose packs? It's so bad. I know, I know, I know. I shouldn't expect anything from loose packs, but oh my goodness. Three rares. This is sad. This is really sad, but at least our reprint pulls were good. We'll go over those at least. All right, guys, from 100 LOB packs, we pulled... Three Pot of Greed. That's kind of kind of low. Five Dark or six Dark Fire Dragon. We pulled two Trapple, one Raigeki, one two Polymerization, two Swords of Revealing Light, one Dark Hole, two Curse of Dragon. One was in Portuguese. We pulled three Celtic Guardians. So one of those was in Portuguese. We pulled one Mystical Elf only, which is pretty low, and two Man Eaters. 
three Flame Swordsmen, a Guy of the Fierce Knight Ultra Rare, one of each piece of Exodia besides the head. We pulled two blue eyes. One of them I actually noticed as a super huge ding, which is a real bummer on the top. And then we pulled two Trihorns and a Gaia. So that's what we pulled from our 100 packs. Then we got our first edition packs, which were all rares. Trial of Hell is probably the best pull, so that is unfortunate. It's kind of sad. But, oh well. It was a pretty awesome opening getting two blue eyes. I can't really complain. We have more craziness coming up. And again, thank you guys for 40,000. We're going to be doing more crazy openings in the future. I'll see you guys later. Peace. Elemental Hero, Dark Bright, Boom! Oh, <laughs>